Hello and welcome to another video at Indies Education. So finally, after all the 3D printings and uh, CAD design, uh, our only wheel custom built chassis is ready. So in this video, we will assemble this chassis and we will deploy it and see how it works. So basically, this is the body originally. So as you, you can recognize this um, Arduino buggy you can buy online. So originally my idea was to reverse engineering this because the space of keeping the microcontroller or Raspberry Pi and the batteries is really small. So I built the volume, I increased the volume, I built this adapter as you can see this really fit with the... So this way you get more spaces here in this place. Also structurally it become more stronger. Then. You put the motor adapter and the TT motor inside. That's how this is. This was the original idea to build the chassis. If I can just assemble all four, that would look like this. So without screwing, I'm just showing the idea. So that's how it would fasten with the main body but then I figured out that there are more ways to increase the area volume just to get rid of this Arduino chassis altogether so now the idea is to use this custom 3d printed extrusion bar this way the whole thing will be more structurally integrated so if I can just put the motor clamp in it both side then putting the extrusion bar like this then the other side goes same and same goes for this side as well Now connecting both the part so the whole idea is to sliding the motor clamp inside the extrusion body this way the whole thing is structurally more integrated more stable then putting them putting them back in this bracket So the body at the end kind of look like this before integrating all the motors. So hopefully you can see from this idea as you can see this actually widen the whole area also then there's room for making it more longer and also then designing more part putting there's like a shelf here so where you can put the robotic arm and things like that so as you can see the concept of reverse engineering really played a crucial role so basically that was the clamp goes to the Arduino buggy but uh, I reverse engineering the whole thing whole mechanism as you can see this but this clamp is supposed, supposed to go this way but uh, I customized it and uh, the best way to do this using a slight calipers so basically with the slight calipers then you can measure the total diameter and the uh, screw hole size um, and the screws as well from the existing part then you do trial and error 
with the different cat software 3d printing and eventually you get the perfect shape as you can see the screw hole now finally the assembly as you can see is completed now we can just connect the omni wheel so this time i got a different kind of omni wheel then the join these are really flexible because the slot is same size as the shaft of the TT motor finally after all this hard work the assembly the prototype is completed now now i will connect all the electronics and the microcontroller including the raspberry pi let's do this uh, let's do the whole assembly revision so basically that's what it look like after assembling though it's not 100 percent finished yet so as you can see the reverse engineering concept works really well all the motors are in right position with their screws holes are aligned now i need to put some 3d 3d printed other part with them Welcome to my reverse engineering nightmare project. So basically, this project actually started with the Arduino buggy. Then this was the second prototype. But as you can see, it is I'm struggling to accommodate all these parts on the chassis. So this is my third prototype. Now, I realize that still there is a discrepancies. I still need more spaces because the battery raspberry pi motor controller all these things need more spaces so this is somehow working and uh, i have no option left but to add the arduino chassis on top of the 3d printed robot buggy and for the prototype purpose as you can see i put two 12 volt battery they are quite heavy and very powerful so 2000 mAh to 12 volt battery one of them will power raspberry pi independently and the other one will power the rest the motor controller and the servos now i have used the cable tie just to fasten these two batteries then i will for now i will use the cable tie to get the chassis as well so for now i have fastened the arduino buggy base plate with a cable tie so just trying to get some side view at this stage i have already soldered four cables to the tt motors now i will get my unique motor controller now let's talk about my DIY motor controller head. So as you can see, I use the puff board, the strip board. So from the beginning, so this is the strip board I have used with uh, TB661FNG motor controller to make this DIY motor controller head. So basically I have connected two motor controller TB661FNG in parallel with this strip board. So as you can see the strip board is fairly simple so if you connect in one side then you just mirror other side then the common pin you just let it go and the pin are not common you get something sharp and that you scratch and disrupt the connection so this is what i've done here as you can see and i also put a back converter so that i can use a separate power supply for the motor controller At this stage i have already soldered all the motors to the motor controller as you can see four cables from the two motor left and the four cables from the two motor right so for now i have two of the back converter so one of one of them is connected with the motor controller board and the other one's job is to power raspberry pi 4 in a mobile robot platform I modified the end of the back converter with the barrel connector so these are 
9 volt DC barrel connector same I did with the cable connecting from the battery so this cable connecting from this battery if I just connect it as you can see I'm getting 5.7 volt which is kind of optimized for Raspberry Pi on the other hand the other battery this battery as you can see this battery the cable connecting coming from there if I just connect it there so you can see you are, I'm getting 7.3 volt which is powering the motor controller board now I will power the Raspberry Pi hopefully nothing blows up so as you can see I'm having 5.7 volt here if I just connect it with the Raspberry Pi so you might be able to see the power LED is on now I turned on the mobile hotspot in my computer and as you can see the Raspberry Pi is detected and it is connected I can access my little Raspberry Pi from my PC so basically um, I'm using my laptop hotspot to connect the Raspberry Pi as you can see the Wi-Fi is on and the Wi-Fi hotspot the onboard hotspot is connected with the Raspberry Pi and the VNC viewer is connected is helping me to get connected for the test platform I'm using my portable power supply just to see the fast movement of all the wheels let's see if the robot works so forward movement reverse movement left movement right movement now is the time to do outdoor trial so i'm taking it to my hallway and as you can see it is working there is some discrepancies which i need to work on to improve mainly the wheels are a little bit a uh, little bit loose um, one of the wheel actually <laughs> actually falling off as you can see and uh, one of them is having uh, difficulties in the traction but nevertheless it is working um, and these minor minor discrepancies i can i'm sure I'm, i can fix now um, the next part of the project is to improve and adding more functionality like sonar sensor and ir sensor kind of thingy be part of this channel like comment subscribe and share i will see you at next time thank you very much